Oh, hi. We're here at Out of This World. It's a traveling exhibition of costumes from television and film that's currently here at the California Museum in Sacramento. One of the things about movie costumes is when you see them up on the big screen with all the benefits of lighting and special effects, they look absolutely amazing, fantastic, true to life. But it's when you get up close and personal with these original costume designs, like you can at this exhibit, that you understand how costume designers put them together from very ordinary objects and materials, sometimes just stuff they had laying around. Okay, a little bit of science fiction trivia for you. In science fiction, nobody wears a shirt, okay? They have a lot of technological innovations, but nobody has ever invented the shirt. If you're not wearing a unitard, you're wearing a tunic, like William Shatner here, yeah. Or you could wear a tunic over a unitard, which is actually called a tunitard. But uh, anyway, moving right along, the really impressive thing about this particular costume, yes, that's right, it's not the costume itself, it's William Shatner's amazing pit stains underneath the armholes of the tunic, which, like the man himself, are legendary and massive. All right, seriously, Christian Bale, Adam West, no, absolutely wrong. There is only one true Batman. Everyone knows that, okay? Yes, George Clooney as seen in the 1997 film Batman and Robin. Now one thing you're going to notice about this particular Batman costume is, uh, is it, is it cold in here? Or, or are those, are those hard bat nipples? Why yes, I believe they are. You just kind of want to push one like a, like a, like a button. Okay, seriously, I just have to fanboy out here for just a minute because look, it's the actual Holy Grail from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Like when he gets to the end of the movie and he's like, oh, the cup of the carpenter. And the guy's like, you chose poorly. And the guy's like, oh no, I'm turning to dust and stuff. Oh man, that movie was awesome. This is a special part of the exhibit. This is actually the Halloween costume that I made last year. I made this, I cut this out myself at, while well, my mom had to help me because I can't use scissors or anything. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually Gorn uh, from the original 1960s Star Trek series. And the thing is, kids who grew up in the 60s, man, Gorn scared the crap out of them. But now to actually look at it, I mean, you know, it's a, in the age of Jerry Bruckheimer CG and everything, rubber masked uh, heroes just don't cut it anymore. And quite frankly, as for that tunic, I mean, I live in San Francisco. I see people wearing that down the street every day. That is not alien anymore, trust me. Yeah, okay, you know who would definitely not fit into this leather jacket? Arnold Schwarzenegger, well, me, me also, but primarily Arnold Schwarzenegger. In fact, you know, they actually had to delay the filming of the original Terminator by two days just because this leather jacket was not, was a little small up in the, up in the shoulders for the governator who actually uh, works in fact here in Sacramento. So, I mean, I, I heard he actually came by and they, they wouldn't let him, uh, wouldn't let him try the leather jacket on. They did, they let him try the Slave Leia costume on though, which I hear was, um, yeah, I don't really know why he would do that. Holy cow, it is Darth Vader. Like, real Darth Vader from the good movies that people actually enjoy watching. It's, it's crazy, actually, looking at this costume here in the museum because you can find out that it's actually the Darth Vader costume was this pastiche of all these different costume elements that they kind of had lying around in the film studio. Like, that's a, that's a German helmet and a gas mask from a World War II movie put on top of a monk's ecclesiastical cape from religious films with a leather biker suit underneath and a medieval breastplate to top it all off. And uh, what actually kind of looks like somebody's old soccer shin guards on his feet. You know, actually standing here next to this, this legendary costume, it's really cool, but at the same time, it's like, it's not like it's that imposing or anything like that. I mean, it's just, you know, Darth Vader, whatever, dark side of the forest. But... 